If you want to check in and out your bear boat and you want some tips, this episode will cover it. Sailing virgins! Yeah! Hi, I'm James. And I'm Jack. We're from Sailing Virgins. We're here in Martinique in uh, Le Marin. It's really beautiful. And we want to give you a couple of tips on how to check out a boat. Check, check in, check out. Check in or check out. Yeah. Whatever it is when you're taking the boat from the charter company at the start of the week. We haven't worked out what it's yeah, called yet. I still haven't. Uh, but basically that, yeah. When you're taking a boat out from a charter company, what you need to look for. So there's 10 things that we want to share with you um, after the whole safety side of things. So you're going to have a sheet and it's going to list all these items and you know, uh, life jackets, things like that. Those things we're taking as a given. You're going to have to have already done that. But we're going to share with you some of the stuff that uh, a lot of our charters in our days who sort of had arguments with or something, or they've been sort of um, lack of understanding and that sort of thing. So these 10 tips we're going to share with you is going to stop any of that happening, hopefully. Some of the pros tips. <laughs> yeah. All right. So number one. Yeah. One of the first things I love to do when I jump on a boat is just get familiar with it. And what I do by that is I just jump on and just have a walk around first. I walk up on the deck. But while I'm doing this walk, I'm wandering around. And I'm having a look over the side. And I'm checking for anything unusual. If I see scratches or chips in the gel coat or anything like that, I'm taking photos of everything just on my mobile phone. Be careful you don't drop it. Um, as I'm walking around, I'm checking for wobbly or bent stanchions. As I'm cruising around, I'm checking all the fenders. They're pumped up and I'm counting the fenders as I go along. They're just so many classic things, but as I'm doing that, I'm also getting a, my first look around the boat and uh, getting familiar with things. Yeah! Yeah. So number two, we're looking at the windlass, making sure it works, making sure we're familiar with it. Uh, and then actually, Jack, can you turn the engine on? Yeah. So um, you should actually have the engine on when you use your windlass. Yeah. And even neutral revs is a good thing. We can show you that later. But um, I'm just going to check that it works, right? We're actually using our anchor right now, so I'm not going to try pulling anything up. But yeah, it works down, up, happy days. And you can ask them if there's been any uh, issues with the anchor, that sort of thing. Find out where the breaker is, that's really key. So let's go inside and I'll have a look at the breaker. We're in a cabin, we're in starboard aft actually, and you can see the, the battery breakers, but also right next to it we've got the windlass. So that um, is the windlass breaker on this boat. If it works too hard, it'll break off, and all you need to do is put it back on. So find out where that is on the windlass on your boat. Yeah! Alright, step three, the heads. You want to be familiar with the uh, different systems, like sometimes you have uh, manual pumps, this one's got an electric pump, so you just want to know how it works, and you want to make sure that it's at least working, at least flushing water in, and you got your water out. Make sure it's all running smoothly out of there. Next thing up, you want to know where the holding tank valves are. So here's our holding tank valve on this boat. Um, you want to be familiar with that, you want to be able to empty the tanks later in the week. And it's always worthwhile to just ask the marina guy, has there been any blockages lately? And uh, you might know that there's some that you really have to be careful with, but uh, hopefully everything will be fine. Yeah! Number four, we have depth measurement. So you've got to find out with your depth, whether, whether it's measured from the keel, from the bottom of the keel or from the waterline. One way to do it is to, if you, I mean, you, you're going to ask the guys uh, at the checkout, but one of the ways to do it is to actually look at Navionics. I can see here that I've got, I should be in 10 meters, it's a bit vague, but um, even if I uh, use uh, my sonar, it shows that I'm in about 10 meters of water. And um, we can see here that it says 8.6. That gives a pretty good indication uh, in a non-tidal area that this is being measured from the bottom of the keel. Okay, so that's a really important one to look. Where is the water depth measured? Yeah! Alrighty, another important tip is to uh, know where your water tank changeover valves are. You don't know how many good skippers I know that have skippered so many boats before and they come over and they say, Hey, do you know where the changeover valves are in Lagoon 400? And I can say I've done that too before because you just forget they're always in the hardest to find places on boats. On our boat here, underneath, Give me that. Got our water tank changeover valves down here. Now, unless you knew that, that, that they were down here, they'd be pretty hard to find. So you want to know how many tanks you've got, roughly how many litres you've got, and how to change them over. 
And remember, never run the water pump dry. Yeah. Yeah. Find out what your batteries should be at. Normally 12.2 is about the lowest you want to go. Most charter companies have boats that have hardly any batteries because they get worn down so much by people wearing them out. Um, so you probably need to charge your boat uh, two to four hours every day, but just find out from your checkout person and, and find out where the, uh, the uh, switches are too, the cutoffs. So we've got the three here. Just find out where they are on your particular boat. Yeah. We want to be really careful with our gas on boats. Fires on a boat, you don't want it to happen. So you want to know exactly where your gas shut off valves are. Now on this boat we have a solenoid switch, a solenoid switch which is a gate direct, directly at the uh, gas bottle. But a lot of boats actually have uh, just a little shut off switch underneath the oven usually. Now you just want to make sure that that's always in the off position when you're not cooking. You don't want any gas leaks because it's very easy to knock all these dials around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Number eight, sail reefing. Find out how your particular boat is reefed. There's usually only like two or three different ways to uh, reef on these production boats. Um, I mean, if it's in mass furling, that's a whole different thing. But if it's, if it's not in mass furling, you're going to have two or three different ways of reefing. And just find out. Uh, what, what, what is used for this particular boat. Yeah! So a classic one to uh, check for are the speakers, the stereo speakers. You don't want to get stung for uh, blown speakers from the week before. So my favourite is to just jump on it's the boat. It's definitely his favourite because I don't know why, but every time it seems to be his boats that get speakers blown. I just like to party. <laughs> um, no, we just want to check so, uh, so we can uh, have a good time during the week and we don't have to pay for other people's blown speakers. So I jump on, chuck some of my favorite tunes on, and uh, actually, Marky, can you turn it up just a little bit? Let's just check these speakers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you learnt a few bits on uh, yeah, how to check in or check out a boat easier. A few of the uh, important things to look for. Yeah, and one final tip, when you bring the boat in, just be really honest with the charter company. They really, they can pick up on that. They know what to look for. And so if you're straight up with them about any issues that you had or any screw ups that you made, they'll really appreciate it. And then they won't go through you like a fine tooth comb. So we find that's always a good way to be. Absolutely. So thanks and uh, until next episode, see you later. Cheers. Virgins! Yeah!